we are back here at the Moavinli Stadium and the GA Super Cup, of course, the Gateway Athletic Super Cup for our second game of the night, the doubleheader here in the Moavinli Stadium, of course, it is the Port of Spain Capitals against the Maloney Mavericks at top of the table clash here in Group C of the GA Super Cup. Both teams coming into this game with some high scoring games, of course, the third team in the group here. The Northern Explorers would have both lost to these two teams here, so we do expect to have a great affair here. This is a reminder. We will now run through the starting lineups of the two teams. Of course, the Port of Spain Capitals, the home team, they start off with none other than Cleon John. In between the sticks, we have young Joseph Stokes and David making up the back line for the Port of Spain Capitals. Applewhite, Thomas Noriega and Campbell in the midfield and Lewis and Primus leaving, leading the line. Line, sorry, the head coach Ronald Primus leading the Port of Spain Capitals for this one as he has been throughout the tournament. For the Maloney Mavericks, of course, we have none other than Ketwana Manning between the sticks for the boys from Maloney. Campaign, John, George, and Alexander making up the back line for the Mavericks. Captain Nathan Lewis, Jordan, Clark, and Mason holding down the midfield. And Warner and Joshua Alexander leading the line for the Maloney Mavericks. Of course, I did mention earlier, there's a top of the table clash, so we do expect to have a cracker here. Port of Spain Capitals would have, of course, beaten the Northern Explorers 3-0. Maloney Mavericks 4-0 in their first encounter, giving them the superior goal difference over their opponents today. So we do expect to see a lot of goals here from these two teams. Of course, goals will be what separates them. Because if they are to end in a draw here, goal difference will be the telling tale. But if they are able to get some sort of result, whether three points for Maloney or three points for Port of Spain Capitals, then we will see some disparity <laughs> in the group. And we are off. And it's the Port of Spain Capitals who, or rather the Maloney Mavericks, who get us off the way today. Excellent first game here between the Carinage Pirates and the Mokoya Tigers. It was a great encounter, must be said. Of course, only one goal separating those two teams, a 19th minute strike for the Carinage Pirates. And a header. And it was just enough to get the boys from Carinage the three points and there's some early action here. Oh, and it's a good tackle there. And it's played out wide to the right wing, but there's good defensive cover. And it should be cleared out long. Really signs of the threats that these boys from Port of Spain may have here. Interesting to see the attacks of these two teams, of course. The captain for the Maloney Mavericks, Nathan Lewis. What a dangerous player he's, he was. We saw him in the first encounter against the Northern Explorers getting on the score sheet as well as providing a lot of attacking options here. Referee, FIFA referee. Cecile Hines is in charge of this one along with her team. Keelan Bacchus, the first assistant referee. Johan Cornel, the second. Of course, Marlon Perrault our fourth referee for today. And it's cleared up field here. And there's Robert Primus who gets it forward. It's touched on, but should be easily cleared out. And it's a throw in for the Port of Spain Capitals. They have started off on the front foot here. Have the Port of Spain Capitals having most of the possession thus far. The Maloney Mavericks still trying to find their feet a little bit, but they have been defensively solid thus far. Nathan Lewis under that one there, but it's cleared out by Primus. It's flicked on here, and the Maloney Mavericks can try to get a bit of possession here. It's Nathan Lewis, the captain, who's in a very deep position there. Usually in those advanced positions, we know him to be in such a dangerous attacker is Nathan Lewis. Mason. And it's good play there. And the Maloney Mavericks are starting to find their feet as the rhythm section builds up. It's played across the back line. 
from one center back partner to the other. Nice looking ball up forward, but it's given away, but it's given right back to the Melody Mavericks here. And it's played in field here to Nicholas Mason, who goes out wide to Ryan George, the right back for the Melody Mavericks, who plays a ball forward. And it's well defended here. Anthony Stokes should get to that one, and it's upfield. Port of Spain Capitals are searching ball forward, but it's given straight into the feet of the Maloney Mavericks. And the team's looking for some options here. There haven't been any clear cut chances as yet, as you would expect. Only three minutes, four minutes into this one. And that is cleared upfield, and it should go out. Oh, the ball doesn't seem to want to go out there. But he's working very hard, and it's gotten into the feet of a what is Spain Capitals player? What can he do here? He's isolated on that side there is Michael Lewis, but he does very well turning inside. And it's lost back. It's good work there from Caron Clark, but I think the referee signaled a foul there. And it should be a ball here for the Maloney Mavericks. The ball rolling on the right flank and just didn't seem to want to go out. It was good work there from Michael Lewis to get back the ball and win back possession for his team. But nevertheless, the Maloney Mavericks are back on the ball. Decent ball played forward, but it's intercepted. But he wins it back well there. This Ryan George. Oh, that's a great touch out there. And he gets through beautifully there. Does Ryan Jordan now? Oh, and I think he's fouled. No. Oh, yes, and it is a foul there. And Cecile Hines. Gives the free kick to the Maloney Mavericks in a very dangerous position here. And as you would have expected, it's Nathan Lewis, the one who's, who's going to be standing over this one. We know his quality. Ryan Jordan, of course, he did win the free kick and probably would want a little sniff of the action from his captain. <laughs> but I think Lewis should be favorite to take this one, especially on that right foot of his. It should be an in-swinger. A lot of Port of Spain Capitals jerseys in the box. Not many Maloney, and it is Jordan to whip it in with his left foot, but it's easily cleared away by the Port of Spain Capitals defense. And Nathan Lewis doing his captain duties and receiving back the ball for the Maloney Mavericks, and he tries to set his team forward once again. It's a decent ball, but a loose touch once again. Alexander. And George, rather. The Maloney Mavericks. Playing some mature football there. You know, just losing the ball and rebuilding from the back. But it's a poor giveaway in the midfield there. And it's well intercepted actually by the Port of Spain Capitals. Can you look forward there? It's a decent ball played through. But I think it was just a little bit too much. Oh, and he's dancing there. It's Dario Campion. And he does well in the end there. Seeing his dancing there reminds me of the goal he scored against the Northern Explorers. I don't know if he knew too much about it in that last game about two weeks ago. But he did score a beauty and he is showing some of his skill here early in the first half. Here's George. Plays a decent looking ball to Ryan Jordan. That's his excellent play from Maloney Mavericks but it breaks down and Port of Spain Capitals are back in possession. That's a beautifully ball played out there. And well controlled as well. And that's good strength from Robert Primus just to keep possession for his team. Although I do think the Maloney Mavericks have been the ones to show a little more of their colors, I do think the Port of Spain Capitals have shown some quality. There's been some decent passing, even though it is still pretty early in this one. Can be seen that this is a high quality encounter. A quite hopeful ball launched up there. And easily taken by Ronaldo Alexander, who was under absolutely no pressure. Goes back to his keeper, Kitwana Manning. And the Melody Mavericks can rebuild. It's played into Ryan Jordan. Patient play here from the Maloney Mavericks, just keeping the ball, looking for that opening. It's mature football, as I would have mentioned a little earlier. But it's easily given away there, and that's a little disappointing there from the Mavericks at the end of it all. And the Port of Spain Capitals have an opportunity to put some pressure on the Mavericks defense. It's excellent play. Oh, but well that's beautiful midfield play there. And he's gotten the ball back. Working very hard. And here's Nathan Lewis driving at the Port of Spain Capitals defense. He fans one. He goes around. I think he's offside there. Oh, 
Linesman hesitates to put up his flag, but it's an 0-1. It's well blocked. I think it was Joshua Alexander there who had an opportunity to whip it in, but centre-back Anthony Stokes came across well. I actually thought the linesman was going to put up his flag there, but he seemed to have hesitated. I certainly thought that Joshua Alexander was offside. But in the end, it's a Maloney Mavericks corner. And it is going to be the left foot of Ryan Jordan to swing this one in. As we await the corner, a pool of players on the top of the penalty area. You do expect them to move in, and they have started. Jordan swings it in. It's a decent looking ball, and he gets his head on it there. But it's easily cleared away. But the danger is still there. It's Lewis. And it's a goal kick in the end. Port of Spain Capitals get away with that one. Ryan Jordan with a decent looking ball inside there. I think it was actually Kwame John who got his head to it. And in the end, no real danger posed to the Port of Spain Capitals defense. And Cleon John gets away scotch free. Oh, and not sure how much he knew about that one there than Anthony Stokes, but it worked out very well for him as he played it out to his left back partner. It's a nice looking ball here. And Mikhail Campbell driving through, but it was just behind him there. It was a decent move from the Port of Spain Capitals, but the Maloney Mavericks are right back on the ball, and here's Nathan Lewis. Oh, and again, that ball in the final third just wasn't good enough. I think he and Joshua Alexander weren't on the same wavelength, but it doesn't look too good here for Nathan Lewis. I think he probably pulled something there while trying to play that pass. I'm not sure. But it's the captain of the Maloney Mavericks who's down here, and I don't think that's such a good sign for Shirley and David, the head coach of this Maloney Mavericks outfit, because they wouldn't need Nathan Lewis, but he seems to be back on his feet, and always a good sign to see players back on their feet. I mean, it's so early in the game, and to lose such a quality player like Nathan Lewis, not just for the team, but for the entertainment value of the game. I'm glad that he's back on his feet here, and... To see Lines waiting to drop the ball and get it back in play. And we are indeed back. Here is Anthony Stokes, plays it out to Nkosi David, Port of Spain Capitals left back. Can be said a, a battle of the East versus the West. The boys from Port of Spain and the boys from Maloney. So maybe some bragging rights after this one, but it's well intercepted there by Michael Lewis. What can he do where he has options to the right, options to the left. Oh, and it's just miscontrolled there. Oh, but the ball is still here. The danger isn't gone yet. And I think that's a foul there. And to see lines obliges. Oh, but it was a decent steal there from Michael Lewis who played it out wide, but just couldn't get it under control there. Good Anthony Applewhite. And the Maloney Mavericks get away with that one. Here is Ronaldo Alexander. He plays a risky ball, but Jordan does well to retain possession. Oh, and it's cleared away again. And it's a foul to see lines. Saw some dangerous play in the mix there. Ronaldo Alexander playing a dangerous ball into the traffic. As we see that replay again, a beautiful ball played out wide, but Applewhite just couldn't get it into his stride. And in the end, the danger was averted. As Alexander plays it over to his centre-back partner, Kwame John. It's back to Alexander, who looks out wide to Ryan George, the right-back. Decent-looking ball. Lewis, of course, is on the prowl, but it's well defended again by Anthony Stokes, who's had a decent start to the game. He's been solid. And that one went out to play there, and it has, and it's a throw in here for the Maloney Mavericks. Captain Nathan Lewis, who seems to be all over the pitch, is Nathan Lewis. Here's Ryan George. Oh, that's an excellent turn there from Mason. And he find the right pass, he does. Oh, and Owen Lewis with a, a weird flick there. I don't think he knew too much about it, did Nathan Lewis, but that's excellent control, and it's given right back into Nathan Lewis, actually. I don't know how, how good the control was in the first place, but... In the end, Lewis gives away possession. Nice a throw in here for the Port of Spain Capitals. Both keepers have not much to do 
as yet. Cleon John and Katwana Manning. I don't think they would want to, but as definitely from a neutral point of view, we would want to see them getting some work. And my mistake, I thought it was a throw in for the Maloney Mavericks, but I think Cecile Hines has actually given a free kick and the same two players who stood over the first one are again over the second. Of course, Ryan Jordan was the favorite for the first. And it's a beautiful ball swung in there, but it's well cleared away. And I think it was Anthony Stokes again with the clearance. And it is a corner for the Maloney Mavericks. And it is going to be the left foot of Ryan Jordan once again to swing this in the number 10 for the Maloney Mavericks, who has been seeing the ball a lot. So maybe you do expect him to be one of the players to look out for in this one. That's a dangerous left foot. And he swings in a beautiful ball there. It's beaten everybody. But in the end, the Porter Spin Capitals get it clear, or do they? It's well won back, hard working there from Alexander, the center back, who went up for the corner. Possession back here with George, who looks long. Plays a decent ball there, but it's well defended by Kosi David. And it is yet another throw in here for the Maloney Mavericks. So the Lions blows a whistle. I'm not sure what for is yet. Seems to be given a talking to. Probably was disappointed with something that was said on the field, of course, from the commentary box. I'm not able to hear, but she's shown a yellow card there. Probably some harsh words or something was definitely said. by, I believe it's David. Interesting to see what would have happened there. I'm not sure. He doesn't look too pleased there. As the Port of Spain capital center back. But nevertheless, the ball is back in play. Oh, no. Yet another delay. Uh, it was actually Robert Primus who was the one who, who got the... the um, Yellow card, my mistake. Oh, it's a decent looking ball there across the face of the goal. Can he score it? It's Ryan Jordan. Oh, and it was on that favorite left foot of his, but he just couldn't convert. And the action seemed to have slipped away from me there. I was so focused on who was getting the yellow card that I nearly missed that one. As we see it again here, beautiful play again from the Maloney Mavericks in the midfield. A beautifully split ball through there. What a wonderful ball into left back, squared across. Ryan Jordan just couldn't provide the finish. And it was Kwame John who got that ball into the box. Wonderful left back play from him. Nevertheless, play is back, but it's given away poorly there by the Port of Spain Capitals once again, and it's a throw in. For the Maloney Mavericks, who seem to be picking up the pace. They've gotten some corners, they've gotten some free kicks, and they've just had a look in on goal. So they will be looking to pounce here. They do have the Port of Spain Capitals a bit pinned up against the wall. Nathan Lewis, the captain, leading from the midfield again. It's well laid off there, but it should be cleared away easily by the Capitals. Can he keep it in here? No, he can't. It was Mikhail Campbell. Just a little too much on that one for him. Ryan George gets it back in play here. It's Mason. Plays it into Nathan Lewis. Who was under some heavy pursuit there, but can he win it back here, Lewis? No, he has his hands on the back end. Yeah. Oh, and it's a throw in for Maloney Mavericks. It was a seven on seven battle there, Kareem Joseph. Against Nathan Lewis. Ryan George with another throw in into his centre back. Alexander. Ronaldo Alexander. Who seems to be a very composed centre back here is Ronaldo Alexander. He's looked very decent in the back thus far. We also spoke about Anthony Stokes for the Port of Spain Capitals who has started off well. Put in a couple of blocks and some defensive clearances as well. Such an important part of, of the game is the defence. You know, a coach once told me, I don't want to quote him wrongly, goals win games, defence wins championships and 
so true because you know if you leak goals if you concede goals it's so difficult to outscore your opponent you have a solid defense it really does make it a lot easier to get results from games and it's some wonderful skill on the right hand side here oh that's well done there but i think it's cleared away oh but it's not there oh and that was a decent strike i'll tell you what caught it very well there did nicholas mason i think he probably caught it a lot better than he even expected that nearly sailed into the top right hand corner but nevertheless it's still nil nil here as we have just passed 18 minutes at the Marvin Lee Stadium, of course, you'll be reminded it is the Port of Spain Capitals in black against the Mavericks from Maloney. Maloney Mavericks in bright orange. Of course, the Port of Spain Capitals, the home team for this one. In this top of the table, Group C clash in the GA Super Cup. Both teams on three points. Maloney Mavericks just edging out the Port of Spain Capitals on the table. What a superior goal difference. Mavericks on four. Port of Spain Capitals on three. As they would have both defeated their third group member, the Northern Explorers. In both group C clashes. And it's Nathan Lewis who plays a nice looking ball here. Oh, it's a jumble up. And I think Cecile has pointed to the penalty spot. Cecile Hines, I'm not sure who made the foul there, who committed the foul, sorry. But Cecile Hines hesitated not. And it's a penalty here for the Maloney Mavericks. Uh, Nathan Lewis has the ball in his hand as you would expect. Let's see what happened there. It was a beautifully chested ball. Oh, that's excellent play. Nathan Lewis had a decent looking ball and I think it was, oh, I still can't see the number, but there was definitely a push in there and Cecile Hines didn't hesitate whatsoever. The Port of Spain Capitals players are absolutely fuming. They think there was a little bit in that that they don't think it's a penalty nevertheless. Cecile Hines is not going to change her mind. She is a FIFA referee, experienced and well qualified. So she does know what she's doing. Nathan Lewis, also a man who usually knows what he's doing in these situations. Can he put his team ahead here in this top of the table clash? As you would expect, the goalkeeper trying to intimidate Nathan Lewis a little bit. Uh, Cleon John. Uh, we'll see if his mind games worked. Hasn't yet turned his face to the ball. He has now Nathan Lewis. Looks composed as ever. Let's see if he can put it in. Lewis. Oh, and that's excellent. Excellent penalty from Nathan Lewis. You never doubted him, did you? And he rolled it into the side netting. He sent Cleon John the wrong way. And just like that, it is 1-0 to the Melody Mavericks. A captain's goal here from Nathan Lewis in the 21st minute. Did put the ball through for the penalty. Took the captain's responsibility. You look at the run-up. Never really looked phased, did Nathan Lewis. By Cleon John, runs up. Sends him the wrong way into the side netting. Beautiful finish from Lewis and the celebration says it all. He knows that he has done a great thing for his team there. And the Port of Spain Capitals are behind, you must say. A deserved goal for the Maloney Mavericks. They have been on the front foot. They have been getting some opportunities in on goal and well rewarded there. Nathan Lewis provided the goal for his team. And still early in this one, of course, 1-0. Although it is a lead, it's not always the biggest. Uh, still about... 24 minutes of normal time in this first half. Nathan Lewis again on the ground. The second time he's hit the deck for this half. And we really hope that it's not a reoccurring injury. The physios readying up on the side there with some ice. I think Ryan Jordan is signaling. As we look at some of the action again, the penalty here from Nathan Lewis. Again, look at the composure. Beautiful placement. Cleon John just had to pick that one out of the back of the net. Nathan Lewis with a fist pump. Still on the ground here is, is Nathan Lewis. To see lines talking to the fourth official there. Nathan Lewis holding his back. It really doesn't look too good for him. We do hope to see him back on the field. 
I think Ryan Jordan was actually trying to tell Cecile Hines that there was a push on Nathan Lewis and maybe there should have been some further cautioning but nevertheless Lewis seems to be back on his feet and we really do hope that he can come back. I'm sure the Maloney Mavericks will be desperate, well not desperate but will surely want him on the pitch and it's a decent looking ball but it's well intercepted there and the Port of Spain Capitals have some possession finally. Johnny Noriega in the midfield there, the number 17. Winning back possession for his team. And they build something here. It's Lewis. Oh, he had the run there. I think he should have played a little earlier. So Lewis trying to dribble through there. It just hasn't worked out as yet for the Porter Spin Capitals. They've lacked some creativity going forward. The defense hasn't been too bad despite the penalty, as I've been saying for the majority of the half. Anthony Stokes has been decent. But of course. You do need to score and it's given away once again. And here is Kwame John. He's driving in. But it's a wonderful tackle once again. And it's well won back by the Porter Spin Capitals. Oh, and strong play there from Karim Joseph to keep possession for his team. David plays it into the midfield. And it is back to the left back, David. Here's Karim Joseph. That's nice play. It's nice play here from the Porter Spin Capitals. But it's given away. Nathan Lewis, the injury seems to have been shaken off. What can he do? He plays a nice ball here too. Oh, and it's just wide. I actually think Nathan Lewis could have tapped it in there. I think his teammate actually squared it back for him. But again, Nathan Lewis, the creative spark in this Maloney Mavericks team once again, showing his quality as we see it again here. It's taken off of the toes there. And it's Nathan Lewis. Look at that beautiful ball. Wonderful run, actually, it was there from Joshua Alexander. And I think he was actually looking back for Nathan Lewis, but Lewis probably wanted him to shoot. Golden opportunity there for the Maloney Mavericks. And they still have the front foot. They still are on the front foot in this game here. It's Ryan Jordan. Is it back to George, who was in a spot about it there, and it's given away to Lewis. Michael Lewis turns away well from the danger. Here's Noriega. Tries to put it through the legs of Mason, but he was having none of it. Nathan Lewis, oh, wonderful skill from him. And he gets away. I tell you what, I tell you what, he's had Kareem Joseph in that midfield. That number seven battle is going to be something special tonight. It's played through, but in the end, gathered up by Cleon John. Rolls it out to his left back quickly. David looking forward. He plays a nice looking ball. It's a good turn from Michael Lewis, but he's well closed down by Ronaldo Alexander, who has had a good start. Oh, this is beautiful play from Melody Mavericks. Excellent football. Real and exciting atmosphere here in the Marvin Lee Stadium. The rhythm section is kicking. The fans, the crowd is building up. And the football is building up as the Maloney Mavericks playing some wonderful stuff here. Nathan Lewis at the center of it all, it must be said. The goal scorer, and the midfield engine, and the midfield creative spark. Ronaldo Alexander plays it across to his center back partner. Kwame Joseph. Oh, and there's a lot of space on the left-hand side here, but it's well defended by Primus, who comes across well. Played inside. Here's Noriega, who gives it away. Nathan Lewis again working so hard to get back that ball. He's been absolutely brilliant in this first half as Nathan Lewis, as we did expect. Ryan George whips in a decent-looking ball. It's lovely shape there. Oh, but Cleon just did enough. To get the danger away when there was a collision there between Dario Campaign and I can't make out that player, but it's a head injury. I thought Heinz may have blown a whistle. He's still down on the ground there, but play continues and finally it goes out. Doesn't look too good here for the Mooney Mavericks man. I think Campaign who ran in there, but his teammate came out second best, and Cecile Heinz is now running back here. The physios are running on. It doesn't look too good at all. And it must be said that the Maloney Mavericks have been the team in the driving seat in this first half thus far. We do know that the Portersville Capitals do have a lot of quality in their team. We just haven't been able to get it right as we look. But some of the action here again. Michael Lewis showing some of his skills there. Noriega. 
There was some decent play, look at that, from Nathan Lewis. Uh, uh, he has been something special tonight, has Nathan Lewis. And throughout the tournament, even in the first game against the Northern Explorers, it seems as if his form has just been continued. Here's Nathan Lewis. He's been taken off the field there. Maloney Mavericks man who picked up that injury. The physios seem to be dealing with him. We hope that they can get him back to full fitness so that he can resume his play here. You see Lines just saying that he probably took a little bit of an inch or maybe a mile there to take that through. And so many times you see players moving up forward and the throwing is so far backward, trying to cheat a little distance. Nothing unethical. Just a little bit of tricks of the games, and it's a nice ball played through from Jordan. Oh, but it's well defended by Anthony Stokes once again. But it's, ooh, that's hard work from the Maloney Mavericks. Some scrappy play, but in the end, the Port of Spain Capitals emerge with the ball. Here's Kareem Joseph, the number seven. And I think he is fouled there from Mason, and Cecile Hines does give the free kick. And it's quickly played out there by the Capitals. Here is Michael Lewis, dropping deep. Here's the forward. Oh, it's some excellent work from him. He actually gets through there. Can he get a ball in the box? Oh, he does very well here, does Michael Lewis. And he sees him on top there. Will he have a strike here? Oh, but it's well defended. I think it was Mason who got back and did the defending there. Oh, and that was a golden opportunity for the Port of Spain Capitals. And Jordan plays a nice ball through. And this is good work, good attacking play from the Maloney Mavericks. It's Joshua Alexander driving at the Port of Spain Capitals defense. It's back into Jordan. Quick play here from the Maloney Mavericks, but it's given away by Keron Clark very cheaply. That was a promising play from the Maloney Mavericks, but in the end, Keron Clark just couldn't contribute to it. Good defense there from George. David asking questions of Cecile Lines. He thought he was impeded by George. Well, Still has possession for his team here, and it's a throw-in to be taken by Kashif Thomas. And the Port of Spain Capitals can get back on track here. And it's dropped off well. Here is Lewis, who plays a beautiful ball into Noriega, who's onside. Can he find the perfect ball here? No, he doesn't. It's well done again. I think it was actually Mason again doing the defensive work in the back. The midfielder. Decent ball here. Can he play it out wide? Oh, I think he took the wrong option there. The wrong option there did Kareem Joseph. He had David out wide on the overlap. He tried to be a little too cheeky. And in the end, the Maloney Mavericks emerge with the ball once again. Here's Ryan Jordan. Into Ronaldo Alexander. Very much a ball, a ball playing center back. Wonderful asset to have in your team. George. Here's Nathan Lewis. What can he do here? He plays a nice ball. It's quick play always from Nathan Lewis. Can he find the ball back inside? Oh, but it just didn't fall for him nicely. But it's a dangerous ball there. In the end, Cleon John did well to get it away. David, well intercepted once again by George. The Port of Spain Capitals can't seem to string together enough passes to put danger. And that's a beautiful ball from Nathan Lewis again. Oh, and Cleon John did well. But I'll tell you what, it was nearly in the back of the net. What a ball from Nathan Lewis once again. Excellent vision. Looked like a ball that would have been played by Kevin De Bruyne. He seems to see things that nobody else does. And the Port of Spain Capitals get away with yet another one. David, it's a decent looking ball up there, but Alexander was always in control once again. Been very impressed with Ronaldo Alexander in this first half thus far. As I, mm, Praising his footwork, also his defensive skill and composure has shined through in the first 32 minutes of this first half. And here he is on the ball once again. This time decides to go long. Oh, and it's header one, but David drops kindly for David. A tussle here on the near side, but in the end, the Maloney Mavericks emerge with the ball, and Ryan George will help us to resume this one. Jordan, nice little touch there. Mason, good midfield play here from the Maloney Mavericks. Oh, there's a loose touch there from Mason who gives it away into Lewis. Oh, excellent skill from Michael Lewis who plays a beautiful ball into Kareem Joseph. Can he take it into his stride? He tries to turn. Oh, and I think, oh, Cecile Hines didn't blow there, I thought. It was actually a foul there. 
There is a foul there by David on Jordan. Joseph just couldn't get it into his stride. He couldn't sort out his feet fast enough to get that important shot as we see here again. The foul by David. Oh, not the foul. David, but the play by Mason in that midfield, which led to the opportunity for the Port of Spain Capitals. Of course, Mason giving away the ball and Michael Lewis pouncing on the mistake from the Maloney Mavericks, number 12, as Kwame Joseph, Kwame John rather, plays it out wide. Here is Kwame John on the ball. The Mavericks center back who has been excellent as well, alongside Ronaldo Alexander. It's a beautifully played ball over the top here. Can he find? Uh, and Primus did well to get that one away. Had to keep his eyes on it. Never, never easy to clear a ball which bounces right in front of you. Good attack and play once again from the Maloney Mavericks. And it is yet another corner, this time on the far side. And it is going to be Ryan Jordan again to take it. Different side, same player. And just shows his quality. You know, these players and head coach Schiller and David have a lot of faith in him to be over these set pieces. And as we await... This corner, just want to make mention of Gateway Athletics once again. Excellent organization. Really giving youths an opportunity as the ball is swung in by Jordan and cleared away by the Capitals. As I was saying, the Gateway Athletics Super Cup, a wonderful tournament thus far, has been entertaining. I think the fans have enjoyed the football. I think the players have enjoyed the football. The teams, the coaches, really a beautiful opportunity to see some of the wonderful talent that we have here in Trinidad and Tobago. Of course, teams being represented from all over the nation. Here alone, we have the Port of Spain Capitals, Maloney Mavericks, of course, the Southern Oilers also in it. Northern Explorers, so talent to be seen from all over Trinidad and Tobago, and we know that we have it. And we love to see it. And here's Ryan Jordan, definitely a talented young one. Gets it in there, but Nathan Lewis receives the ball again. How much has the ball, have the ball? Has he seen? It's a decent strike. And it was just wide of the post. Again, excellent play from... The Maloney Mavericks, they have been getting it right in the final third as opposed to the Port of Spain Capitals. I think the attack has been fluent. Nathan Lewis, of course, has been at the center of that. Ryan Jordan has been excellent as well. Joshua Alexander working hard on top there. And of course, Daniel Warner has been working well on that left-hand side as well, getting some decent balls into the box. Good to see Warner back on his feet after picking up that injury, I think, to his head or his face. The physios have done a good job and he's back with us. Noriega. Can the Port of Spain Capitals find a goal late in this first half? Oh, a loose touch there from Anthony Applewhite. Gives the ball away and it's back into Jordan. It is Ryan Jordan once again, Nathan Lewis supporting. Good patient play, Mason with a decent ball. Oh, and it's flicked over the top, and Nathan Lewis is onside here. Can he find a killer ball inside? He does. Oh, that's a beautiful ball, and it's missed, and it's one. Oh, he, oh, he just fumbles on it, and it gives enough time for the Port of Spain Capitals defense to regroup, and oh, and Warner will be disappointed with himself because Nathan Lewis put in an absolute beautiful ball there. I think it was Primus who missed the header, allowing Warner to get the opportunity. But they get away with yet another one there do the Port of Spain Capitals. And Maloney Mavericks would really think that they should be at least two or three up in this first half. You remember the opportunity Jordan had early on, but this time Alexander's beaten and he's onside here is Michael Alexander. What can he do? Alexander, Michael Lewis, sorry who lost out on the possession here. And here's Nathan Lewis for the Maloney Mavericks. It's decent play. Oh, and it was just played behind Ryan Jordan. I think he was a little too eager there. His teammate Joshua Alexander telling him just to calm down a little bit, time the run a little better. Another opportunity going begging there for the Maloney Mavericks. And here are the Porter Spain Capitals. It's a lovely ball played out wide there from Michael Lewis. 
Dancing here is Mikhail Campbell. And he has to go all the way back. And it is oh, wonderful play there from Warner doing his defensive work. Is the midfielder. And the Maloney Mavericks can counter attack here. Nathan Lewis, can he use his speed here? He has options wide. It's a nice ball played into Jordan. I think he was forced a little wider than he would have wanted to, but he's still in possession here. Apple White back doing the defending, but Jordan uses his pace well. Oh, and just couldn't get the connection that he wanted. I think it's Joshua Alexander there. What a late run into the box. Excellent work from Jordan. I think Nathan Lewis forced him a little wide with the ball played in, but in the end, Jordan used his pace, got past Apple White, found the ball in to Alexander, but again, couldn't find the finishing touch as we see it again here. Ryan Jordan, the number 10. Regaining possession, driving into that penalty area like a good winger, beating past Apple White, and Alexander just didn't get the connection. I think Primus actually did well there to, to just put him off enough to not get a clean strike, good defense from the number two who was booked. Earlier on, I think for descent, Cecile Hines was having none of it. Beautiful ball played through Noriega, and Lewis is actually fouled by Kwame Joseph. And an opportunity here for the Port of Spain Capitals to put some pressure on the Maloney Mavericks defense. Looks as if it's going to be. Noriega, the number 17, to take this one, and he plays it out wide. Here is Campbell. Can he find that ball? And he decides to cut back. Decides to keep possession. Lewis, who has been a link-up man in this port has been capital squad, I think. He's actually had a decent half. Every time he's seen the ball, he has made some decent passes, but that's a poor mistake there. And it's an opportunity here for Nathan Lewis. You don't want to give it away to him. And here's Warner. He's an on goal. Can he have a strike? Oh, he cuts back onto his right foot. Warner again. He's cutting again. Oh, I think he's done a little too much there as Warner. It gave Primus enough time to recover. But danger has not been averted as yet. Here's Nathan Lewis. And that one got away from him. And here's Kareem Joseph. Noriega. Can he find the ball? Delays the pass. And, oh, and I think... Lewis might have wanted it, played in a little earlier, and in the end, ends up giving it away to Nathan Lewis. Jordan, excellent drop off there, wonderful play again from the Mavericks. But this time, it was a little too close to Anthony Stokes, who was having none of it. David, Apple White. Ashif Thomas into Joseph. Here is Noriega in an advanced position, and foul this time by Ronaldo Alexander, who stepped up from the centre-back position. And it, a mm, little far out, but still a free kick in a dangerous enough position for the Port of Spain Capitals to probably get a shot in on goal here. I think it is going to be a shot because not many of the players moving into the box. So maybe Kareem Joseph is going to have a strike here. It will be an optimistic one. If he does decide to go for goal, Ketwana Manning hasn't had much to do. This half, can Kareem Joseph help him out <laughs> and give him some work to do? Noriega and Joseph, the two over this one. Looks like it's going to be Noriega to strike it. He does, and it's a decent strike, but bounced very kindly there for Ketwana Manning, who gobbled that one up and rolled it straight out to Ryan Jordan. Uh, we have about three and a half minutes remaining of normal time, and that's a beautifully played ball out wide. Can he find a killer ball inside? No, he doesn't. He delays the cross, but actually does well, I think, Warner. Oh, it's creative, but yeah, definitely offside there was Joshua Alexander. Trying to be a little too cute there at the Maloney Mavericks. Uh, maybe the ball should have come, came in a little earlier from the left back, David Warner, trying to slip in Alexander. But you would think that the Maloney Mavericks would want to go into this half with a lead and a clean sheet. So don't want to do anything too risky. Don't want to make any defensive errors and get the Port of Spain Capitals back in this game before the 15-minute break as it's played through there by Alexander. But no danger there. Oh, but it's a, actually a short pass by Anthony Stokes. Oh, and Cleon John showing some of his skill. 
chipping that one away from Ryan Jordan and back into the feet of Anthony Stokes. Here is David. Plays it into Kashif Thomas. A loose pass, but nevertheless, the Port of Spain Capitals are still in possession. Here is Kashif Thomas once again. Port of Spain Capitals would love to get a goal going into the halftime. Give Shillan David and his team something to think about. And of course, get back on level terms. The game, you know, I wouldn't say it's in the balance, yeah. but the Port of Spain Capitals definitely aren't down and out. I mean, a one goal lead can be easily neutralized by just one goal, of course. And I think Michael Lewis can be the one to provide that goal, or at least contribute to that goal for the Port of Spain Capitals. He has been excellent in his first half as well as that man on the ball there, Nathan Lewis, for the Maloney Mavericks. Here's Ronaldo Alexander, who plays it out wide to George. Alexander working hard again, and uh, he commits a foul. Uh, eagerness sometimes of players to work hard, and you know, they end up giving out fouls, but we love to see that. Coaches love to see that. The players working hard and really trying to win back the ball for their team, playing for the shirt, playing for the fans, playing for the community, and it's a decent ball. Over there, David actually did well to get ahead around that, but George clears it away. And it is a corner here for the Port of Spain Capitals late in the first half. Opportunity for them to maybe get the ball in the back of the net or at least put some pressure on the Maloney Mavericks. Looks like it's going to be the number seven, Kareem Joseph, who's coming across to take this one. Doesn't seem to be in any rush, does Kareem Joseph, but... Definitely would be eager to take this one. A free opportunity to get a ball into the box. And one minute being added on here in the Marvin Lee Stadium in the first half. So not too long again to go in this first half here of the GA Super Cup. As Joseph swings it in and a little too close. Oh, nearly looked as if it went in, but it did indeed sail over the top of the crossbar. And Katwana Manning wasn't worried at all. Bit of a wasted opportunity there from Kareem Joseph. Really wanted a, a little more quality. We know he does possess quality on the set pieces, but you know, it doesn't always go your way. And the Maloney Mavericks looking to add to their first half goal. Make it 2-0 before this halftime break. Cleared away by Cleon John. Here's Mason, looking long over to Ryan Jordan, but David with some excellent defensive work. Got in front of the man and got the ball. Here's Applewhite, back to Kashif Thomas. And that is the end of the first half. Of course it is 1-0 to the Maloney Mavericks. A penalty from Nathan Lewis. A lot of opportunities here for the Melody Mavericks. Ryan Jordan, as we recall, had an excellent opportunity on his stronger effort early on in the first half. Warner as well had some opportunities, some look-ins on goal. Michael Lewis has shown some quality up front for the Port of Spain Capitals, but they never really threatened that Maloney Mavericks defense. We do look forward to the second half to see what these teams do come back with again. That penalty from Nathan Lewis does have the Maloney Mavericks 1-0 up. And we will be back for the second half. Don't go anywhere.
And we are back here at the Marvin Lee Stadium, of course, the Port of Spain Capitals against the Maloney Mavericks in this top of the table clash in Group C of the GA Super Cup. The Maloney Mavericks leading in this one. A first half penalty from their captain, number seven, Nathan Lewis. There was, of course, a substitution for the Port of Spain Capitals. And it is Brandon Charles, number 14, who has come on for number nine, Kashif Thomas. And it is going to be the Port of Spain Capitals who are going to start us off in the second half. And Lewis does, as said, Noriega launches it forward and it's easily taken by Kwame Joseph, center back out to Warner. Joseph gets it back in the center back position. And the Maloney Mavericks continuing their composed play. You can definitely see the chemistry in this Maloney Maverick team. Some of the passing, especially in the final third, has been absolutely excellent. Uh, Nathan Lewis, a name I've been calling all night long, as well as Ryan Jordan and Joshua Alexander. Of course, Joshua Alexander, who's on the ball now, is leading in the goal scoring charts of the GA Super Cup with two goals, which he did score in their first encounter against the Northern Explorers, but his teammate, Nathan Lewis, has actually now tied with him now with that penalty he scored in the first half. A lot of players are on two goals. So there is a lot of competition for that Golden Boot Award. Alexander and Nathan Lewis will be looking to increase their goal scoring or oh, the, 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 the goal-scoring numbers in the second half here. And the Maloney Mavericks have started off the second half well, but of course, the commentator's curse. The ball is given away. A bit cheaply there from Keron Clark, and the Port of Spain Capitals have a throw in here on the far side. It's given all the way back to Anthony Stokes, who did have a decent first half, despite his team conceding a goal. He has been solid in the back for his team. Plays it into Primus, who was actually booked in the first half by Celine Hines for, we believe it's something he may have said. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but I do know that Cecile Hines did show him a yellow card. And he's gonna have to be careful because he's not gonna wanna do anything too irresponsible to get another yellow card and possibly get sent off. Uh, ball given away there by Karim Joseph into Clark, who plays a beautiful ball into Mason, who's driving to the midfield. Alexander just let that one get away from him there. And Mason still on the ground. Campbell here now plays a ball into Michael Lewis, who has been doing excellently with his older play. And again, you can see it there, but this time he gives it away. And it's cleared away by the Mavericks. Here's Karim Joseph, who Seems to have moved into a right back position here in the second half. Of course, I'm not sure if there's going to be some sort of positional change between him and the substitute Brandon Ch Charles with Kashif Thomas making way. And that one kicked out of play by Kwame Joseph. And I do think it is Kareem Joseph who has dropped into that right back position here in the number seven for the Port of Spain Capitals. Of course, the Maloney Mavericks have not dipped into their pockets yet. Uh, the saying goes, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And the Maloney Mavericks definitely aren't broken right now. So nothing to fix, but there's always room for improvement and we do expect to see Shirl and David Dipping into his bench or his pocket. Seems as if David has actually moved into the midfield there for the Porter Spin Capital. So definitely some positional switches here from Ronald Primus. He probably sees the need for a change up in his 11. And that one goes out to play there off of Lewis. And it's a throw in for the Maloney Mavericks once again. Good control there from Ryan Jordan. 
Been very impressed with him in the first half. Will be exciting to see if he continues his form in the second. Ryan George looks long and plays a decent looking ball over the top of the Capitals defense, but it's well defended once again by Stokes. Danger hasn't been cleared yet, but Stokes this time with some no nonsense defending in the back, as we like to say. Oh, and that's a Ronaldo Alexander. I thought he actually fouled Lewis, but it's a ball play through here to Noriega. Is he onside? The flag stays down. Noriega taking on his man. He gets a lucky break. Strikes it away, cuts on to the right, but Kwame Joseph did well to stand his ground and averts the danger. Here's Kareem Joseph. Kwame John with some excellence defending there. Just put enough pressure on Noriega. Never made him look too comfortable. And oh, he won the ball well there, did Lewis? And can he find the square back? No, it's a corner kick. Good defensive cover there. And it is a corner kick here for the Porter Spain Capitals. An opportunity to get a dangerous ball into the box. An opportunity to get an equalizer early in this second half. Leaves the ball there to. And Kosi David to swing this one in. Must be said, Kwame John and Ronaldo Alexander have been excellent in the back thus far for the Maloney Mavericks. Although they haven't had much to face, they have been decent when called into action. That one was too close to the near post and it was cleared away, but it's back into the fray. But it's further cleared. And there's a tussle on the far side here, but... They emerge with the ball to the Maloney Mavericks and they can charge forward on the counter-attack. It's a beautiful ball out here to Ryan Jordan. Can he find Alexander? Looking for his third goal of the tournament and his first of the match and an excellent, excellent, excellent recovery there. By Cecil Young, the number 16 for the Port of Spain Capitals. It was a beautiful ball through by Ryan Jordan. Joshua Alexander was in on goal. As we see the replay here once again, lovely released ball through there. Ryan Jordan on his favorite left foot, cutting inside, slipping it in beautifully for Alexander. But Cecil Young did just enough. And it's a corner here for the Mavericks. A beautiful ball swung in by Jordan once again, but easily dealt with by Anthony Stokes. Here's a substitute, Brandon Charles. Sorted back into the Port of Spain Capitals half by Kwame John. I actually think it went out for a throw. Not an ideal position for a throw right by the corner flag. I think they would have preferred the goal kick, but I do expect the Maloney Mavericks to squeeze and put some pressure here on the Port of Spain Capitals defense. And so said, so done, but the Capitals do well to get it away. But how far do they get it away? Oh, and it was a decent looking ball in there from Dario Campaign, but cleared away from the Capitals. Here's Kareem John, who seems to have gone back into the midfield. Brandon Charles in this right back position now. And it was a foul on John. And a free kick here for the Capitals. Ball heaved forward by John, well held up by Noriega. It's a decent looking ball, but Ryan George had the head start there over Applewhite and does the defensive work. He's showing a lot of the ball there to Applewhite, but gets away with it. Does Ryan George. Here's Jordan, who does well enough to win a through for his team. Of course, a lot of time left in this one. Only a 1 0 lead for the Maloney Mavericks, Nathan Lewis. The man on the ball now with a penalty, and it's a beautiful give and go there. Lewis again, how, what a creative spark he's been in this game so far for the Maloney Mavericks. Joshua Alexander, nice ball through, what a, oh, beautiful. Oh, but the flag is up. The flag is up on the far side. Joshua Alexander pleading his cause. Warner had the ball in the back of the net. And it is offside. Cecile Hines has to go with the decision of the linesman. And it is 1-0 still here. It was a beautiful move from Nathan Lewis initially on the right-hand side. Slipped it in for Alexander, who was definitely onside. The question had to be for Warner. I'm not sure if he was. A decent finish, but 
The flag did go up and you have to play to the rules. And here is Clark trying to get that 2-0. Beautiful drop off there from Warner. This is nice play from the Maloney Mavericks. And oh, Nathan Lewis working hard. Oh, and Nathan Lewis, he wanted that 2-0. And guess what? He got it. And the Maloney Mavericks have got it. That's beautiful from the star man, from the captain. Captain Fantastic, they call him. Or well, at least they'll have to start calling him Captain Fantastic because that was some beautiful play from Nathan Lewis. And they dance in the Marvin Lee Stadium. They dance, they dance, they dance. And the Polo Spain Capitals are absolutely shell-shocked. Clark with a lovely ball in there. Warner dropped it off. Lewis actually lost the ball there, did Warner. Lewis never gave up. And he dinks it beautifully over Cleon John. And the Melody Mavericks lead 2-0. The Port of Spain Capitals have a lot of work to do here. And we did indeed speak about Nathan Lewis coming into this one. He's now the leading goal scorer here at the GA Super Cup is Nathan Lewis. Definitely wants that golden boot. Maybe even might be in the talks for the MVP. Still a lot of football to be played. There's a free kick here for the Port of Spain Capitals. Can they put some pressure here on the Maloney Mavericks defense? They really haven't gotten it right up front. They had had some opportunities, but it just never looked too threatening. I don't think the Maloney Mavericks defense have been too scared, really. But as we said, they do have the quality to the Port of Spain Capitals. And we can see this man here. Lewis has been decent. Noriega. Just couldn't keep it under control and the Maloney Mavericks emerging it again. It's a decent play. Ball played over top. We'll get a pace there from Joshua Alexander, but excellent defense once again from Anthony Stokes. It's well won back there by Mason. Cecil Young there battling with him, but in the end, Mason emerges. And here's Ryan Jordan. Can he cut in on that favorite left foot of his? Oh, he's, <laughs> I tell you, he shrugged off the wall there. I think it was Anthony Stokes who was having none of that, though. Oh, and some physical play. Noriega showing great strength. Nathan Lewis working hard and does win back the ball. He's rewarded for his efforts. Here's Jordan out on the right side. I think that was a foul. So C Lines looks at it, doesn't decide to blow the whistle. And possession is back here with the Port of Spain Capitals. Here's Primus out to Brandon Charles. The Substitute he did come on for Kashif Thomas. That's a nice looking ball there into David. What can he do here? Can he make something of this one? It's a nice looking ball there again. Oh, and Jay just enough there did Ketwana Manning. And Michael Lewis just couldn't get on the end of that one, but a good move from the Porter Skin Capitals. Much better response there. They can get a little more of that. They may be able to get back into this one. David, of course. The left back in the first half moving into this advanced role and showing some of his creative qualities. So it's evident that Ronald Primus knows what he's doing with these positional switches with he, which he has put in place. And it's going to be a substitution here for the Port of Spain Capitals. And it is going to be Jafia, Jafia Ellis coming on here for the midfielder. Anthony Applewhite who makes way for the number 15 Ellis and the ball is given back to the Maloney Mavericks decent ball there into Joshua Alexander who's eagerly looking to get back into that top spot of the goal scoring charts after Nathan Lewis has just passed him with that audacious dink which put the Melody Mavericks 2-0 ahead. But the Port of Spain Capitals aren't out of this one yet. They're still fighting here. Here's Lewis. And it's a free kick, I think, here for the Melody Mavericks. Sissy Lines signaling that to us. George goes long. And it's straight onto the head of Primus. Oh, dangerous play there, but Kareem Joseph emerges with the ball. Uh, campaign. Dario Campaign. Kevon Clark. 
Nice ball there into Mason. Puts it out wide to Warner, who has switched wings here with Ryan Jordan. Oh, some excellent play, but... And Cecile Hines blows a whistle. It's a free kick in a dangerous area. For the Maloney Mavericks, right on the edge of the penalty area. Some wonderful footwork from Warner, as we see it again here. Ball played out wide by Mason. Warner picking up the ball in the wide position, dancing over the ball, and did enough to draw the foul from Cecil Young. He's lucky, I'll tell you what, Cecil Young, that Warner wasn't able to get into the penalty area because that would have been another penalty and a possible Nathan Lewis hat trick. But it is Lewis once again to take this one. But Ryan Jordan has actually been the man who has taken most of the set pieces for the Maloney Mavericks. So responsibility back in the feet of Nathan Lewis. Very important that the Port of Spain Capitals keep their defense very tight. They don't want to concede any more goals as Lewis runs up. Dinks in a decent looking ball and it's well defended there by the Capitals. They did what they needed to do and an opportunity to counter attack. Noriega is up there by himself and really would have had a hard time to get any options. It's played through. Good work from Noriega again. And they come out. They emerge well. They rewarded for the hard work. Can Noriega drive? Oh, he beats one. He beats Mason. Well, he has a strike. Oh, and it was straight in the hands of Ketwana Manning. But much better here from the Port of Spain Capitals. It must be said. The strike was pure from Noriega, but just didn't have the accuracy to beat Manning. And another opportunity gone there for the Port of Spain Capitals. Here is Joshua Alexander, lovely ball into Jordan who waited on it but he was offside nevertheless. And they have an opportunity here as we see the action here again. Noriega just getting in there, stealing the ball, working hard, beating Mason who ran back for the defensive duties but the strike was straight to the keeper. And we're back to the action here. Kwame John clears it away nicely. John couldn't control but wins it back through some hard work. Plays it out wide here. Oh, he slips on the ball there, there, Jordan. And it's a decent looking ball inside. Oh, and I think it was actually David who got into a number nine and advanced position here. The first half left back. Kareem John eventually getting it under control. Played a nice looking ball out wide to Ellis, the substitute who played a lovely, dangerous ball across the six yard box. But David. Just couldn't finish. I think he went with his weaker right foot, which may have been the reason why he didn't get the contact that he wanted. But nevertheless, it's impressive stuff here from the Port of Spain Capitals after conceding that second goal. They have retaliated well in a positive manner, but they do need to get the ball in the back of the net if they want to get something out of this game, of course. Maloney Mavericks will go top of the table. Well, they are already top, but they will further extend their lead. And not only lead by goal difference, but lead by points as well. If they are able to win this one. And the Port of Spain Capitals would not want that to happen at all. And here is one. Oh, ooh, well intercepted there by Anthony Stokes. I'll tell you what. That was an important interception from the number four centre-back. And it's a lovely ball played in here to Noriega, whose hold-up play has been much better in the second half. He plays a nice ball through. Michael Lewis is making the overlapping run. Can he find that ball inside the box? He does. Oh, it's missed there. And it's offside, I think. The linesman had his flag up. Michael Lewis played a ball through there, and the Maloney Mavericks defense were absolutely bamboozled. It went straight through everybody. But they were relieved by the raising of the orange and white linesman flag. The ball played into Ronaldo Alexander. Gives it out wide to Orion George, the right back. Mason into Warner. Wonderful one-touch football here from the Mavericks, but it's given away. And again, Stokes is there to clear it away. 64 minutes into this one. Of course, the second match of the doubleheader here tonight at the Marvin Lee Stadium in the GA Super Cup, a Group C clash between the Port of Spain Capitals and the Maloney Mavericks. Maloney Mavericks leading 2-0. Two goals from the number seven and captain of the Mavericks, Nathan Lewis. Of course, in the first game, we did have a 1-0 victory 
for the Carinage Pirates over the Mokoya Tigers. That game was covered by my commentary colleague, Renwin Medina. Of course, my name is Liu Chen. Here with you on this one. And here is David again. He has been influential since moving from that left back position. Plays a ball into Joseph, who cuts in nicely. Receives back the ball here, does David. He's looking wide, and it's a decent ball out wide there. Can they get the ball into the box? They do. And Kwame John misses the ball. Noriega's on the back post, but it just got away from him. And John with some excellent defending. Good recovery there from Kwame John after missing the header. And it's a corner from the Capitals. For the Capitals, rather. Beautiful ball swung in there. I think it was Campbell who got that one in the box. Over the top, Noriega. Just let it get him away from him. And gave John enough time to recover and do the all-important defensive work. But it's a corner nevertheless here for the Port of Spain Capitals. And it is going to be Kosi David to swing it one in with his left foot. Oh, that's a decent ball. It's deep, though. Oh, and a hand was up there. He's lucky that he didn't touch it there to Ryan George. Lewis puts it back in, and it's cleared away once again. And further cleared, I think, by a Paul has been Capitals player. But always dangerous to see this man charging at your fence. It's Nathan Lewis. Look at the pace. Look at the skill. Will he go again? He nudges past. Oh, this is a brilliant pace from Nathan Lewis. And he's looking to go all the way. Oh, but I think he held on to it a little too long, did Nathan Lewis. Saw the glory. There were options in the box. He's behind the post. In the end, Cleon John had a decent save, but look at that pace, end-to-end -end stuff. Look at Lewis putting on the afterburners. He absolutely runs past Cecil Young. Got into a dangerous area, but just couldn't apply the finishing touch or get the ball inside Ryan Jordan. Looking quite disappointed inside there. You do think that if Nathan Lewis squared that one, it would have been 3-0 to the Maloney Mavericks, but can't blame the lad, he is on a hat-trick. You do expect him to want to go for goal. Players, especially attacking players, love to score. At the end of the day, it is their job. And this one swung in by Jordan, but a bit disappointing there. Lewis working hard. Noriega picking up possession. Excellent work by him. He has had a decent start to the second half, working hard, holding up the play, winning the ball back. And did have that opportunity on goal, a shot on target. Lewis. Alexander, well won back there by Ellis. And back into Noriega, but it's a free kick here for the Port of Spain Capitals. Charles getting on with it quickly. Ellis, Noriega, looking for options. Has to go all the way back to Primus, who is on that yellow card. Has done well to not get a second thus far. Kareem Joseph. I think he didn't know what to do there, did Kareem Joseph. But it's given right back into the feet of Noriega. Here is Micah Ellis. Can he get a shot away? And just couldn't connect with it cleanly. And Ketwana Manning wraps up that one into his gloves. Looks to set his team on the attack. There's it upfield, but it's straight into... Excellent. Play there from Primus. Wonderful touch. Oh. Nice play from the Port of Spain Capitals defense. Here's Charles back into Primus. Oh, he slips on the ball there. Could be danger. Ryan Jordan was working hard. And this could be dangerous. Joshua Alexander. What can he do here? He's one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Oh, and he does well there. Does Anthony Stokes. Has been having a good game there. And keeps it at 2-0. Joshua Alexander. With a good opportunity. Ball played out wide here to Dario Campaign, who swings it in. And it's cleared away by Brandon Charles. Here's Joseph. He looks up. Sees David, who turns well in the midfield. Michael Lewis. Oh, that's nicely flicked on. And there's space. Oh, Ryan Jordan was in acres of space. I think it was... Oh, and he's gone to the ground there. Looks like Kevin Clark is having some problems there. Immediately after he played off that ball, he seems to have cramped up. I think it's an issue of cramp. He should be okay. Should Kevin Clark. The physios are 
running on to deal with DSU. But it has been an uh, exciting second half, of course, the ball being put in the back of the net by Warner, Daniel Warner, the number nine. But he was offside not too long after Nathan Lewis, who actually linked up with Daniel Warner, scored Maloney Mavericks' second goal of the game, an, audi an audacious chip from the number seven to get his second of the game. Since that, the Port of Spain Capitals have responded well. They had had some opportunities. Noriega, of course, has been playing well in the second half. Ellis getting a decent ball into the box. And David with a golden opportunity, but just couldn't get it into the back of the net. But there's still 20 minutes of normal time to be played. And you do think that that is enough time for the Capitals to get back into this one. If they are able to pull back one. They may be able to get in another, put some pressure on the minds of the Maloney Mavericks. You do fear that if the Maloney Mavericks are able to get a third, that might surely kill off the game. But as it stands, it is still 2 0 here in the Marvin Lee Stadium in this top of the table clash in Group C of the GA Super Cup. Kareem Joseph dinks it over. But it's easily intercepted there by campaign. Here's Ryan Jordan. That's a nice ball through. Lewis. Please don't give him too much space there. They know. Oh, but that ball from Alexander wasn't precise enough. Lewis. Look to the sky. Alexander knows that was a golden opportunity. And the Port of Spin Capitals know they've gotten away with another one there. And that's a nice looking ball over the top. And it's Noriega here. Can he get a strike away? He needs to get it away quickly. Oh, and just got under the ball a little too much there and it was always rising and it flew straight into the car park but it was a beautiful ball over the top and Noriega oh that's a golden opportunity I'll tell you what he'll be disappointed he hasn't seen the net rattle there but it does seem as if the Maloney Mavericks are going to dip into their pockets here and it is the number six Keron Bethelny, who has come on here for the Maloney Mavericks. For the injured Kevon Clarks, I guess it was a little more than cramp for the number 11, who did have a, a very good game in the midfield. He worked hard, was pretty industrious. And I guess that just led to the wear and tear on his body. Hopefully he will recover well so that we can see some more of him in this tournament. Nevertheless, an opportunity for Bethelmi to show some of his talent here. And it's a lovely ball over the top from Ellis, but David just couldn't get it under control. And the Mavericks again sorting it out in the back. Here is Warner. Over to Ryan George. And we do here again. The announcer just announcing the substitution once again. Keron Clark coming on for Keron Bethelmi. So a like for like switch. Keron for Keron. Midfielder for midfielder. Maloney Maverick player for Maloney Maverick player. And it is a corner here for the Mavericks. A bit of a mix up there in the back from the Capitals. Ryan Jordan taking his time to get this one under control. And it is going to be an out swinger from the left footer. Dario Campaign drops short and Jordan does give it to him. Gets it onto his left foot here. Jordan, he goes on to the right. Oh, and it's just wide. A wonderful strike there from Ryan Jordan. On his weaker right foot, it was curling. They do catch them out here to the Maloney Mavericks. Dario Campaign dropping short. A lovely layoff play. Could have been a training ground move and... Jordan, oh, I'll tell you what, that was close, and I think Cleon John was beaten there. It was off target, and the score remains 2-0. Oh, but that's a poor giveaway there from the substitute, Brandon Charles. Oh, and oh, it's good strength in the end. Ah, oh, good recovery. Excellent recovery there. As Joshua Alexander was in, and Primus did well. Actually, you, oh, danger still hasn't gone, and Hines... Referee blows the whistle, but Primus 
did really well there because he is on a yellow card and that was a risky tackle to make in the penalty area but got away with it and definitely some excellent defense from the Port of Spain Capitals number two. Here is David driving at the Maloney Mavericks midfield. It's played into Noriega who holds on a little too long and nearly robbed up the ball but he still comes through with it. It's a lovely ball through Michael Lewis. Can he have a strike here? Oh, and he just didn't connect well, did he? It was wonderful play from Noriega. I thought he held on to the ball too long but he did well in the end to slip it through here. We see some fancy footwork from him. I think he got a bit lucky did Noriega but definitely a beautiful ball slipped through there. Michael Lewis on his left foot just couldn't get the connection that he wanted and Ketuana Manning looks at it roll wide. And Manning is able to clear here. 15 minutes left of normal time here in this encounter between the Port of Spain Capitals and the Maloney Mavericks. Good footwork there. And it is Brandon Charles into Noriega. Plays it well, but Kwame John was there. And did some excellent defensive work and played it nicely into campaign. Oh, wonderful skill from Lewis. And definitely the leading man for man of the match in this one with his two goals and his work rate. Everything's been good from the lad. Oh, and Ryan Jordan. I thought he kept it in, but the linesman had other ideas. Cecile Hines is running across here. Not sure what the controversy is, but oh, she actually made a correction there because yeah, the ball didn't seem to go out. Ryan Jordan getting back possession. Here's Daniel Warner into the substitute. Keron Bethelmi. It's back into Warner, but it's well read again by Anthony Stokes. And it's Joshua Alexander. I don't know if he collided with one of the Port of Spain Capital defenders here, but he's on the ground and it doesn't look too good for him. Joshua Alexander. As you see the replay here, Daniel Warner playing a ball into the box and you can see there, oh, it was Primus who actually stuck out a hand there on Alexander and that's dangerous play from him because as we've been saying, he is on a yellow card. But I don't, I think he's gotten away with one there because Cecile Hines didn't see it. You see it there. Oh, definitely an infringement there from Primus, who's probably still lucky to be on the pitch after that one, but nevertheless, he is. Cecile Hines, I think she's, have, she's had a, a good game thus far. She has had some big decisions to make, of course, the penalty in the first half. As well as I think uh, foul calls and her attention to the lines. Assistance has been excellent. Cecile Hines, the referee. And here is George. Slowing down the pace a bit here are the Maloney Mavericks, they know that they have a comfortable tool in the lead here. They don't need to do anything too risky. And uh, Jordan <laughs> just trying to put on a flare a little bit. Wasn't successful in the end, but his team still comes out of possession. Nathan Lewis to take this throw into Bethelmi, the substitute who came on for Keron Clark, who went off injured. Concedes a foul here, does Bethelmi. And it is going to be a substitution here for the Maloney Mavericks. It's going to be the number nine, Daniel Warner, making way. And the number two, Tariq Johnson, coming on here for the boys in orange. Has had a decent game, Daniel Warner. In the first half, he did have a lot of joy on that left flank, which he was out on, getting some decent balls into the box. Second half as well. 
a little quieter. But did have an impressive game, and the Maloney Mavericks still want more here. And it's played in Primus, misses the ball, and here's the substitute. Well, he doesn't get away. Here's Jordan. Can he get a strike away? It's on his left foot. Oh, and it's a good save there from Cleon John. And the Port of Spain Capitals sort it out in the back. Here is Ellis. Oh, and Lewis nearly turned into the danger man there, Nathan Lewis. Lewis on Lewis. Micah versus Nathan. Oh, that's excellent control from Kareem Joseph. And here's Norega, who plays a decent looking ball, but Ryan George had some excellent positioning there, and he cuts it out well. Oh, and does well to get it away again. He too has been solid in the back as Ryan George. I think he's been good on the ball. It hasn't had much pass him. So he's been pretty solid along with the whole North um, Maloney Mavericks defense, who of course have been able to keep a clean sheet. And 10 minutes remaining here. Quarter Spain Capitals have a lot of work to do if they want to get something out of this one. Here's Ryan Jordan, who himself has had a decent game in that Maloney Mavericks front three. Here's Bethelmi trying to link up with Mason, or Alexander rather, who gives it away cheaply. Alexander, Ronaldo Alexander, that is playing it out from the back. Captain Nathan Lewis, the man who has scored 100% of the goals in this one so far. Now on three goals leading the Golden Boots chart in this GA Super Cup. Really has been all over the field as Nathan Lewis. Oh, and I think he actually tripped on himself there, did Tariq Johnson. Was looking for the whistle of Cecile Hines, but she knew that there was no infringement. It is a throw in here for Dario Campaign and the Maloney Mavericks. It is Bethelmi. Ball out wide here to Ryan Jordan, who turns. Uh, it's an overlapping run from George. Can they get another goal here, the Maloney Mavericks? They seem to be comfortable. But always nice to get another goal here. And Jordan thought he was in on goal, but he was indeed offside. Capitals resume play instantly. Ellis back to Charles. Primus. David. Long searching ball there from Stokes. But it's easily cut out by Ryan George. Into Bethelmi, the substitute. Mason. Campaign, the Maloney Mavericks just keeping possession of the ball. A bit, oh, that's excellent from Lewis. A bit of game management here from Sherl and David's men. Not trying to do anything risky. Tariq Johnson traps it into the path of Joshua Alexander. Can he find that ball back across? He dinks it in. Oh! Oh, it's, oh, it's clear off the line. Oh, that's excellent defense. That's wonderful defense. I think it's Cecil Young with the acrobatics on the line. I thought it crossed the line. But Cecil Young with some great work, and the danger is still there. The Melody Mavericks still trying to get that third goal, and a wonderful again from Cecil Young. Oh, and that was the opportunity there. I think it was actually a substitute to Reed Johnson. Dink ball over the top there. Joshua Alexander beat Cleon John. And oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Cecil Young. And there uh, has been another substitution will be another substitution here for the Port of Spain Capitals and it is going to be the number 19 coming on for the Port of Spain Capitals Jaden Critchlow for the number 13 Campbell and that one is cleared away but possession quickly back with the Melody Mavericks. And here's Nathan Lewis. What can he do here? He has a strike and that one was off target. Really desperate to get this hat-trick here is Nathan Lewis. He really wants to walk away with this match ball. Lewis with some wonderful skill there. And 
Got into a good position, got the space, but just didn't get the accuracy. And that strike there to Nathan Lewis. The Port of Spain Capitals are running out of time here. They do want to get something out of this game. They're going to have to score two goals in quick succession. I am a bit hurt from a game that happened this week where goals were scored in quick succession. Of course, Real Madrid knocking out Manchester City in the Champions League in the dying stages. Two goals from Rodrigo, which left me in a state. Of course, I am a Man City fan, but here's Nathan Lewis trying to add a third. So Real Madrid showing that it, it's not impossible to score late on in these games here. Football is a funny game. Uh, we've seen much crazier things happen on the pitch throughout the world. And Kareem Joseph with some good skill, but in the end it came to nothing. Here's Bethelmi, who has looked pretty composed since coming on, it must be said. Keron Bethelmi, the number six. Was coming on for the injured Keron Clark. Here is Nathan Lewis, who I do expect to be crowned man of the match for this one. Dario Campaign, can he find a ball into the box here? Decides to cut back and give the possession to Lewis. The Mavericks game management is pretty good here at the moment. Oh, that's lovely play. Oh, this is brilliant from Nathan Lewis. Can he get a strike away? And I think the first touch let him down there to Nathan Lewis, Justin get it out of his feet and as a result couldn't get the strike that he wanted but Noriega plays a nice ball here into Kareem Joseph who slows down the play and allows the Maloney Mavericks defense to regroup but it's a nice dink little cheeky ball through to Noriega who finds it across here it's Michael Lewis and they're taking really long here at the to spin capitals and uh, in the end Ketwana Manning holds on strongly and keeps his clean sheet intact. Well dealt with there from Cecil Young. Here is David, who plays a nice ball over the top. Joseph has an opportunity here, but the first touch again let him down. Here's Ellis, gets a strike away, but it's well blocked from campaign. Excellent defensive work from the Mavericks once again. Play through Joseph again, the touch. Oh, but he's a lovely skill, but he's still well marshaled there by campaign. It's excellent defense, actually, from the Mavericks. He turns well, but Lewis is back there. Oh, wonderful shake of the body here. Nathan Lewis driving. Can they counter attack here? It's played into Joshua Alexander. Back to Lewis. Slows down the pace. There's Nathan Lewis again, showing the maturity. The captain really leading his side here. He's really had a world-class performance here as Nathan Lewis. I mean, I know that's some strong words, but you know, if you have watched the full 90, you'll see he has been up and down this pitch as the captain. Really deserves the two goals that he scored today. Uh, some subs being readied up on the sidelines for both teams here. It looks as if the number 18 for the Port of Spain Capitals, Andre Joseph coming on as well as the number five for the Maloney Mavericks. Kern Lewis seem to be the substitutions who welcome on. And yes, the subs are to be made now. And it is going to be Ryan George, the right back who's going to come on, come off rather, for the number five, Kern Lewis. And the Port of Spain Capitals is going to be Michael Lewis, who has had a good game, who's coming off for Andre Joseph, the number 18 for the Port of Spain Capitals. Has had a decent game, has Ryan George out in that right back position. He's been pretty solid and has shown some of his skill on the ball as well. You would think that that substitution there of Andre Joseph, he is a tall figure, maybe. Ronald Primus, maybe trying to use him as a target man. He is lurking in the gap between the penalty area and the center circle. So I could be wrong, but we'll see what plans Primus had bringing him on there. It's a decent looking ball, but Kwame John clears it away into the Marvin Lee night sky. Here's the substitute. 
number two, Tariq Johnson. Plays it out to his captain, Nathan Lewis. Bethelmi, another substitute. Lewis. Oh, you know, it, it really has been so beautiful sometimes here. From the Ma Maloney Mavericks, they have been playing some excellent football, even in tight spaces. And again, we can see it there. And here's Tariq Johnson. Can he find that ball through? And red, well, red there by Anthony Stokes, who really has had an excellent game. Here is Campaign. Plays it in nicely to Bethelny. It's quick football here from the Maloney Mavericks, and they keep the possession. Johnson, Nathan Lewis, slowing down the play, conducting the pace, orchestrating the football. Mason has been industrious in that midfield. This is beautiful football here from the Maloney Mavericks. It must be said, I mean, yeah, just passing the ball around. Some swagger. Nathan Lewis at the heart of it all. Really good play here. And Shirl and David will be very impressed with his performance from the team. Oh, this is really brilliant here from the Mavericks and the Port of Spain Capitals. Chasing shadows, really. Uh, just haven't been able to get into this one. Have the Port of Spain Capitals. They had had some look-ins on goal, of course. David with a great opportunity early on in the second half, but really never got into threatening this Maloney Mavericks defense. On the contrary, the Maloney Mavericks have threatened the Port of Spain Capitals defense. So many opportunities. Could have been much more than 2 0, but it really has been a dominant performance from the boys in orange. And an opportunity here still for the Capitals. It's going to be David to swing this one in. Floats it in nicely. Oh, and he did get a header on it there, did Ellis, but it wasn't really one that put any pressure on Ketwana Manning, who has had a relatively unbusy game. Should be said, he has had some saves to make, but hasn't been under too much pressure as the Maloney Mavericks number one. Plays it out here. And we are into added time. Cecile Hines should blow her whistle any moment now. And the game is done and dusted. I think the Maloney Mavericks have had a superior performance, as I just said. And they have managed the game ever so well. They haven't been risky. They've kept possession very well. And they have been rewarded. There's Dario campaign. Gives it away, though. They would want to keep a clean sheet, of course, with the Maloney Mavericks. And uh, that's cleared up field by Kwame John Owen. Oh, it's got to be a foul there. Yeah, definitely a foul. Leaned into him there, did Maloney Mavericks man, and he took a heavy fall there. Looks like Cecil Young, who seemed to have hit the deck very hard after that challenge. Cecil Young, of course, with that ac acrobatic clearance off the line to keep the score at 2 0. A wonderful piece of play from him. It'll be the play of the day. Of course, in competition with the second goal from Nathan Lewis. A wonderful chip. Launched forward into the Maloney Mavericks box and well collected there. Here is Ryan Jordan charging again. Can they get a third goal here and really kill off the game? The Maloney Mavericks had played through, but Nathan Lewis just wasn't able to get on the end of that one. And Cecile Hines blows the whistle, the final whistle. And it is the Maloney Mavericks who come out on top in this one here. The top of the table clash. The boys in orange from the get-go with the better team. Nathan Lewis, absolutely stellar throughout the course of this match. Being rewarded with two goals, Nathan Lewis in the first half with a penalty. And then an audacious and wonderful chip from him again. He did get the ball in the back of the net the third time, of course, right before that Nathan Lewis goal through. 
Daniel Warner was substituted off, but was ruled offside, unfortunately, for the number nine. And which left the goal, the score rather, a 2-0. The Port of Spain Capitals did play some quality football. You know, it wasn't sloppy, but there really wasn't much quality in that final third to really pressure that Maloney Mavericks defense and the Port of Spain Capitals remain second on that group C table of course the Maloney Mavericks three points clear at the top now with six points the Port of Spain Capitals remaining on three and the Northern Explorers still at the bottom of the table on zero points being defeated by both the teams who would have played here today so at the end of the second game of the GA Super Cup doubleheader on this Mother's Day Sunday. Of course, happy Mother's Day once again to all the mothers and mother figures out there in Trinidad and Tobago and anybody who is watching this stream. There's a 2-0 victory here for the Maloney Mavericks. And the first game, of course, ended in a 1-0 victory for the Karen Ayes Pirates over the Magoya Tigers. And it has been some wonderful football played here in the GA Super Cup in the Marvin Lee Stadium. My name is Liu Chen. It was a pleasure being here with you to watch this absolute cracker. Do have a blessed night. Goodbye.